everyone, let's take a look at number 15. We're going to look at some binomials. So if I want to expand 2x minus 5y to some power, they're not telling me what it is yet. Uh, I don't want to foil it out or d double distribute or triple distribute. I'm going to wind up using the binomial formula, which comes in this form. All right. And, and they're telling us here that n choose k for this particular particular problem is 8 and 3. So what they basically told me is that n is 8 and k is 3, which is great. So what they're ultimately saying is that I have 2x minus 5y to the 8th power. Now, you can imagine that saying take 2x minus 5y times 2x minus 5y and do that 8 times out. And imagine all the distribution that would happen there. Like you'd have to multiply these eight binomials to each other and then you'd have to figure out what the third term was. And I say third term because K is three. And it's one of these, it's really, really ugly and it would take a ton of time. So what we're gonna do instead is use this formula and just find the third term directly. So let's think about what we're gonna substitute. And here's what I mean by that. We know N is gonna be eight, K is gonna be three. So I'm gonna put an eight here and a three here and then a three here. And you know your a term, so let me go ahead and mark this. Our a is 2x, so I'm going to substitute that in. And then when I color code this, our b is negative 5y, all right? And I'm going to put that in. So I'm just going to substitute all of those numbers and, and terms in, and then we're going to simplify and see which of these that pops out to. So here we go. We're going to have 8 choose 3, and I'll crunch that in a moment, and then I'm going to have 2x to the eight minus three. Let me just separate this so it doesn't interfere with the problem. And then I'm gonna have negative five Y and then I'm gonna cube that. All right, so let's go figure out some of these. So I'll have eight choose three and I'll crunch that number in a moment. This is gonna be two X to the fifth and then negative five Y cubed. All right, so I'm gonna head over to my calculator to find eight choose three. I mean, you're, you're more than welcome to do it this way. You can just say it's eight factorial over three factorial times five factorial and crunch those, but I, I'm gonna use my calculator to find the number directly. So here we go, let me clear all of this out. I'm gonna hit eight, I'm gonna go to math, all right? And then I'm gonna head over to PRB and I see option three there, the N choose R or NCR. So I'm gonna say eight choose three and it's gonna tell me it's the number 56, great. So let me head over and I will replace this. Oops, excuse me, let me pinch that back out. All right, so we will go with, this is 56. All right, so if I have two X to the fifth, and let me just put this off to the side here, you gotta imagine that's two X times two X times two X times two X times two X. I think the most common error I wind up seeing when somebody has a two X to the fifth is that they'll literally tell me that this is the same as two X to the fifth. And you forget that you actually need to multiply the two by itself five times. So when you have that exponent of five, you need to not only distribute it to the X, but to the two as well. So two times two times two times two times two, that's actually 32. So I'm gonna correct this. This shouldn't just say two. This should say 32. And by that same rationale, I think the most common error I see on this is someone will tell me this is just negative 5y cubed. It's not, right? It's negative 5y times negative 5y times negative 5y. So you need to distribute that cube to the negative 5 and to the y as well. So ultimately, if you have negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, you're going to have negative 125, and then we're going to have a y cubed. Oh gosh, sorry, I hit my, my hand, scrolled that on accident. Okay, so then let's start combining these. So I have 56 times 32 times a negative 125. I'll crunch that number in a bit. Then I'm gonna have x to the fifth y cubed. So just taking a look at that, just knowing it's x to the fifth y cubed, that answer is ruled out, that answer is ruled out, that answer is ruled out. So I'm really leaning into C, but let's just make sure that this number is negative 100, negative 224,000. So I'm gonna head over to my calculator just to double check. So I would have had 56 times 32 times negative 125, and we are looking at negative 224,000. So that is checking out. So negative 224,000, and then x to the fifth y cubed. And I know that seems like a lot, and I'm not denying it is, but imagine if you had done it the other way, right? If you had had to multiply 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5, 
with foiling and then multiply by another 2x minus 5 and then another and then another and then another and then another and then finally this last one and collect all the like terms, it would have taken a while to get here. So believe it or not, this is actually the shorter way. All right. Thanks so much.